Uh, I've been feeling pretty good. Um, you know, the team's been doing uh, well and having success. And, uh, you know, you just get in that uh, kind of stage where you're feeling really good and you feel like you can make, you know, every save. And, um, you know, it's also uh, a reflection on how our team's played defensively. You know, we changed things around the last two or three weeks and we've been playing a lot better defensively, and that, that's a big part of it. You go all the week and you still pretty much have to rotate game by <coughs> game. How does that feel? Oh, that's. That's uh, that's the situation. Uh, you know, Darles is a great goalie, and um, I, I know what the situation is. So I'm, you know, I can't be disappointed. I'm, I'm here, and um, I'm excited to be here. And uh, hopefully, we continue to have success. Did the trade of Clendenning you know, send a little bit of a shock through the locker room, or what was kind of the reaction when you guys heard about that? Yeah, it was definitely a shock. We we didn't know uh, anything was in the works, so. Um, anytime you lose a, a teammate and a friend, uh, it's disappointing. Um, you know, we didn't get anybody in return, so uh, he was a good guy and a good player, and um, you know, we wish him all the best. Morning has a couple games under him now. Uh, what have you seen out of him? <coughs> kind of filling in for him. Uh, he's a good young guy. Uh, he's great in the locker room. Uh, you know, he's a high draft pick that's that's got a lot of talent, and I think he just needs the opportunity to play. And uh, like I said, he's, he's shown the last couple games that he, he can play, and. Um, I think the more he plays, the better he's going to get. We've got three big games with Milwaukee, so what's the locker room like talking about that? Uh, well, we've obviously played this team quite a bit, so um, we just got to continue. Uh, I think we've had success uh, the last bunch of games against them, so we just got to continue to play the, the way that we can and, uh, and work hard. And obviously it's uh, six big points for us. If we can get all three, that'd be great. If you play a team like that three times in a row in the regular season, is there a lot of adjustments in between, or does it just take us as it comes? Uh, I think both coaches will, you know, after the first game, if you lose, you want to make some kind of adjustment or look at the other team. So it's almost uh, kind of like a playoff atmosphere. You get to, to see the team three times in a row, so you get an opportunity to change a little bit. But, uh, you know, it, it is tough. Uh, you know, it usually gets pretty rough by the second or third game. Something happens in the first game. So uh, it, they are exciting games, uh, but it, it is tough playing uh, the same team three games in a row, yeah. With the home and home against Milwaukee this weekend, being home and home so far this season against Milwaukee and Chicago, you guys are only 2-6-2 two, two in those games. What do you think that, you know, some of the difficult things are going into back-to-back -back games like that this season? Uh, I don't know if that has anything to play with it. We just, you know, we, we just got to go out and play hard, and obviously the first game's huge. You don't want to... If you lose the first one, you kind of get put on your heels, and you really have to force yourself to win the next one. And it's you're in desperation mode. So I think the first game, at least the first period, is is the biggest part of the of the two games. You, you get ahead and 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 get the lead and and play from there. Hopefully, get that win, and it'll make the the next night a little easier.